Jesus Christ is the light of the world. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And illumine your church. Joyous light of glory.
Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Repeat after me. Okay, fine. So, uh, tell me again why we're here. Well, because I, 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 I told the, 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 the fish guy, the fish guy? Yeah, the, the, the fish guy. You mean Larry? We, we, we worked with him for years. We fished next to him for years. You know him. Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Larry. I, I told Larry that we'd check the place out. And, uh... Why? Obviously, so he would know where to deliver the fish for our Passover dinner tomorrow. And you could have just uh, given the address, you know. I didn't think of that. You never do. Never do what? Think, Peter. You never think, especially before you talk. You just blurt it out there. Well, excuse me, little brother, I've never done this before. What, never done what before? Never had a Seder? Well, no, never eaten fish? I had no idea what you're even talking about. I've never followed anybody that I thought could, was going to end up saving the world. Unlike, unlike some people, I mean, Jesus is what, you're, you're like 12th Messiah now? That is not true, and you know it. Well, come on, there was, I did follow John the Baptist, this is true, but I didn't think he was the Messiah, and he never said he was. Well, 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 fine, and then I ended up following Jesus anyhow. Yeah, when John the Baptist told you to, well, he was right, wasn't he? Well, I, 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 I suppose, he pointed Jesus out, and I never looked back. That enough being short, you got the wrong book. Sorry. This is embarrassing. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, this is worse. Okay, fine. Pay no attention to the stage blocking. <laughs> you, 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 you. You're, you're okay. You're breaking character. Okay, so they're fine. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I guess that is all that John the Baptist did. Nice catch. I did, I guess it is all that John the Baptist did. He, he just pointed Jesus out. That's basically what he did his, his whole life. He just pointed to Jesus. Well, just like you did to those Greek guys one time. Well, it wasn't me exactly, you know. They came to Philip first, and then Phil came and got me, and we all went and saw Jesus together. Well, yeah, but you know what I mean still, right? And you showed them Jesus. Well, yeah, that's what we all do. That's, that's why we're here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I made you come here. I guess there really was no point to it. I mean, we're all going to be here tomorrow anyways, and and you're right, you know, I, I, 
I don't always think things out before I do them. I'm kind of an act first kind of guy, so sorry. No, 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 I, I naturally gladly came, you know? See in this room and, and this here table and before the, before the guys get here and before Jesus gets here, well, it's kind of got me thinking. What? Huh? What does it have you thinking? Oh, yeah, it kind of got me thinking that, well, I didn't figure out how important Jesus was on my own. John the Baptist did have to tell me. But still, in the time since, Jesus has let me know that I belong here with him, with all the rest of you. And, and I really do know that I have a seat at the table of the Lord. Well, you will tomorrow night at least. Huh? I, no, always. Wait. Oh, yeah, I... I I, I get it. Now, yes, yes, you, you do always have a seat at the table of the Lord. Yep. Yeah, must be nice. It is, knowing that all of us have a seat at the table of the Lord. Well, I'm not so sure about me. Are you kidding me? I mean, what are you talking about? You're like Jesus' right-hand guy. Well, maybe, maybe Jesus called you the rock. Yeah, and I sank like a rock that time that he tried to get me out of the boat to walk on the water. Well, yeah, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was hysterical. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess. But he caught you. It, he, he did. The rock. Come on, Simon. Jesus called you the rock. You're like, you're like two millennia ahead of Dwayne Johnson. Well, yeah, but he also called me Satan. Well, just that one time. Satan, Andrew, he called me Satan. I mean, come on. Just for saying I'd never let anything bad happen to him? Yeah, i not sure I get that one myself. Well, something about um, not thinking like people think and not thinking how like God thinks. I, but I'd never let anything happen to Jesus. I'd I die first. What do we know that, Peter? We know you'd never let Jesus down. You never would. Well, well, what if I already have? No. What? And what if I do in the future? I mean, things are like super crazy tense right now with with the, the Romans and the high priests and the Pharisees pretty much putting a hit out on Jesus. You know what? What if I blow it? It'll be okay. But what if it's not okay? It'll be okay then too. Because Jesus won't blow it. Jesus won't let us down. Jesus will never fail us. Well, I, no, I do, I do believe that. We both have a seat at the table of the Lord because it doesn't depend on us. It depends on Jesus. Well, you're right. You're right, little brother. I, I guess we do have a, a, both have a seat at the table of the Lord. Right? Well, yeah, I, I, I guess we do. So, so what are we supposed to tell Larry? I'm thinking maybe turn to two lefts after the three-legged donkey, and then, then it's the second right. Oh, Larry's a big guy. Just give him the address. He can use DPS. Technical difficulties. <laughs> In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now, in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son.
the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. For our bishops, Elizabeth and Kurt, for our pastors, Heather and Scott, for all servants of the church, and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. For the faithful who have gone before us and are at rest, let us give thanks to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us command ourselves, one another, and our whole life to Christ our Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us.